Hello, good evening, Mr. Mauricio. Hello, good evening, Miss Sandra. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher, and you? Nice, I'm good. Thank you for asking. Hello, Miss Andrea. Hello, teacher. Hello, mister. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? Nice. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Are you ready for class? Nice. That's great. So let's wait a few seconds. Maybe the other ones join. Vamos a esperar unos segunditos. Tal vez los demás se unen. Okay. Thank you. So maybe they can join. Hello, Mr. Jorge. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Mr.? Fine. Thanks. And you? Great. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. So here we have the class. Let's wait one more minute, maybe, for the other ones. Vamos a esperar un minuto. Un minuto más por los demás. So we can maybe they come. A veces nos unen. So we can do the class. Hello, Miss Rebecca, welcome. Hello, Miss Abigail, welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you, Miss? I'm fine, thanks, and you? I'm good, thank you for asking. Great, great. Hello, Miss Abigail. Hello. How are you, Miss? Mm, I'm good. Good. That's good, Miss. Happy to hear that. Mm, okay. Yes. Nice. Yesterday I was rest. Rest. You rest yesterday? Yes. You rest. Oh my goodness, that's perfect. You have a little bit of a vacation. <laughs> yes. Nice, nice, nice. That's great. <laughs> I think almost, almost everybody had a vacation. Almost, not everybody, almost everybody. <clears throat> okay, so let's begin with the class. And so we are going to continue with English for work program. This is basic model number four, right? And we are going to continue. My name, one more time, is Lisa Rosmina Prado Martinez, and today it is Thursday, November 3rd, 2022. Today we are going to continue with unit number three, that is customer service, as you know, and we are going to continue talking about this. And also today, we are going to continue with the simple past. We are going to talk about some process, about some things. And today we are going to study the, the simple past and also in affirmative and negative and also review. Um, I mean, we're going to learn the negative and we are going to review the positive way of the sentences, right? Oh, so to start, I have this one that is taboo, okay? Taboo, it's a little bit of a game in which I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you a word. Le voy a mandar una palabra. Hello, Mr. Juan Jose. Hello, Mr. Francisco. Hello, Miss Lady. How are you? Hello, welcome. Fine, thank you. Nice. Hello, good evening, everybody. Hello, teacher, teacher. 
Hello. <laughs> Tonight I only listen because uh, okay. I work in, in the Union Port, uh, attending one vessel, and I will leave uh, early the class because uh, okay. I will sleep and wake up three o'clock. I, I am. Oh, understand, Mister. No problem. That's okay. Thank you for okay. letting me know. Are you in the All Union, right. Mister? Yes, I stay in the Union. Oh, that's good. You're near <laughs> here, San Miguel. Yes, it's very, it's very, it's very, but very, hot. very yes, hot. Very hot, right? Very hot. Very hot. Yes. It's hard, it's very okay. hot. Of <laughs> course. <laughs> You're right. melting. I... Ahí se está derritiendo, Mister. Because so... bueno, ahorita no tanto porque está lloviendo, but um, you're only. Uh, Viene la lluvia, viene la lluvia. Yeah, la it's true. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> yes, uh, okay. No so problem. I listen, I listen, teacher. Thank okay, you, no, thank you. No problem. Okay, so, um, as I was telling you, we are going to do this activity that is called Tavu. Tavu, okay, it's this game in which I'm going to send you a word. Le voy a mandar una palabra. Well, no una palabra. It would be like a, a little card, una tarjetita. Okay, and so you will um, you will explain, okay? Van a, a eh, deletrar, no a deletrar, van a de, describir, okay? Eh, esta palabra, okay, con las palabras que van a ver en esta tarjetita, okay? And so give me one second so I can send you the words. Deme un momento para poder enviarles las, las palabras, ok mm, mm, mm. oh my goodness they are very hard wait this words oh my goodness oh. ok so I'm going to start with uh, let's see, voy a ver si los identifico ahí, por ahí. Aquí en WhatsApp. Let's start then with Mr. Mauricio. I think I have you. Mr. Mauricio, can you see your WhatsApp or no, Mr.? Uh -huh. ¿Sí lo puede, Mr. Bell, o no? No, 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 no lo veo, teacher. No, pero ¿su WhatsApp lo tiene? ¿O sí, no? ya. Ok, ahorita le acabo de mandar una Hoy palabra. Sí. Pero no voy a decir la palabra que está arriba, Mr. Solo la que está, las palabras que están abajo. En the rest y los demás deben de adivinar qué es esto. Ok, lo que está arriba, Mr. Lo que le acabo de enviar. Mi Rebeca. La tarjetita, dice. Sí, la tarjetita que le acabo de enviar. Pero lo de arriba no lo vaya a decir. Solo debe okay. de decir lo que está abajito de la palabra. <ríe> bueno, o sea, ahí había ver la tarjetita, básicamente. Yeah. Ok. Ok, you may start. Ya puede empezar, mister. I say the, the word. Blame. The words, the words. Ajá, uh -huh, again, uh, under. Las palabras que están abajito de la palabreta en negrita, vea. Ok. Blame. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Curse. Curse time. Uh -huh. House, mm -hmm. class, mm -hmm. tour. Uh -huh. What do you think it is, everybody? What is it? ¿Qué creen que es? Can you explain another in another words, Mister? Podría explicarlo en otras palabras, Mister? Yes, okay. uh, I think. Uh, uh, Uh -huh. Input a través, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, true, it's true. Uh, input true, like. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's a good idea. Or uh -huh. uh, input a uh, Brisa o aire, ¿cómo se dice? Wine. Uh, wine. Mean, no, wait, wait, wait. It's, it's win, win. Estoy pensando en win. Okay. Win, win. Win. Win, yeah. Input, input, win. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's oh. has, uh -huh. it has a house. Ajá. Uh -huh. Windows. 
Yay! Yes, very good. It's Windows. <laughs> Excellent. Let's go now, Miss Rebecca. Miss Rebecca, I sent you there in WhatsApp too. Yes. Mm -hmm. That was. Last word. Desert. Mm -hmm. Desert. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Treat. Eat. Mm -hmm. Ice cream. Uh -huh. Dairy Queen. Yeah. What do you think it is that? Can you describe it in another words, Miss? ¿Se podría describir en otras palabras, Miss? Aparte de eso. Um, the children like. <laughs> Ajá, the children like this. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Ice cream. Hmm. Casi, casi. Candy. Mm, ice cream is good. Ice cream is good. Yeah, it's ice. It's uh -huh. como... Pellet. Uh, a lollipop, no. No. No, no, no lollipop. Ni an icicle, huh? Pallet? No, it's, okay. I, it's lollipop, mister. Paleta uh, is lollipop. Okay, lollipop. Uh -huh. okay. Or icicle. That is helada. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have ice cream. You can't explain me. <laughs> How do you create? They created this with ice cream. Se crea con ice cream. Lo que está explicando la mix. Mm. Ice okay. cake. <laughs> no, it's uh, not ice cake. Every Sarita, every Sarita. La nevería. Ajá, Yai Yao. Creo que Yai Yao también tiene, ¿verdad o no? Frozen. No. Banana split. Yes. yes. How do you know, mister? No, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. How do you know? No. That's too easy. Then. Okay. Nobody wants the banana split. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know about that. But okay. Let's see now, Miss Lady. Miss Lady, I just sent you a word. Ya le acabo de enviar una palabra, Miss Lady. Vamos a ver ahí. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, cordless, remote, satellite, portal, flip. Mm -hmm. What is that, everybody? Can you explain in another words, Miss Lady? Use for call. Uh -huh. yeah. Be. No. Pong. Yes. Well. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah. Porque siempre andamos cargando. Ajá, 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 exactly. Cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. Ajá, ah, but okay. because cell phone is the one that has the little gear, okay? Or, or okay. is, ajá. It will be phone, right? But cell phone is the one that we always have. Very good. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Nice. Mr. Jorge will be next. It's more easy, teacher. Yeah, it's super <laughs> easy. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Yellow. Mm -hmm. Plantain. Mm -hmm. Fruit. Yeah. Monkey. Mm -hmm. Peel banana. Banana. Yeah. <laughs> I say it is more. Yeah, money. it's is true. Too easy. But very good, everybody. That was awesome. Okay, thank you for doing it. That was a little bit of practice for vocabulary, okay? And that's called taboo, okay? And basically, bueno, tabú es que básicamente tienen que utilizar otras palabras menos la que obviamente, vea, like you were guessing. That was super good. Thank you for doing the activity with me, okay? Now let's move on to the next activity. The next activity that I have for you, it's called opposite. Why? Because I am going to show you some sentences and you have to tell me the past tense of the sentence. Let's see if you have practiced the verbs in past, okay? Porque les dije que repasáramos los verbos en pasado. So I want to see if you have reviewed them or if you have rem like practicing yesterday. So let's go. So how will be this sentence that you can see over there? How will be in past, everybody? I wash. I wash. I wash. 
to be to be with my with mom. my mom exactly watched, watched. let's see next watched. one uh -huh. this one my mom cooked a delicious pasta mm -hmm. cooked uh -huh. and what about this one Play they played soccer, soccer in, the, in park. the park exactly played Played. Played. Mm -hmm. They played soccer in the park. Exactly. Very good. Thank you. What about this one? Lucas Dance. and Maria dance. Dance. Exact. Danced. This one. You live, live in Spain. Yeah, lived, D lived, lived. Exactly, very good in Spain. This one, my dog is sad. My dog was sad. Mm, thank you. ¿Qué tipo de verbo was. es? Exactly. Was. 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 Porque es irregular. Very good. Espero que hayan repasado los irregulars with the application that I gave you. Huh, let's see. And the last one. We visited, visited my, my grandma. grandma. Yes. Very good. Visited with it right my grandma amazing thank you wow we have remember right those rules let's see just to see if you're ready let's see now mr jose Ezequiel. what is the simple passport mm, win sorry what is the simple passport win win one Yes, very good. Miss Abigail, what is the simple pass for read? Excuse me? The read, read, read. No, read. Ah, super easy, right? <laughs> Let's see, Mr. Mauricio, what is the simple pass for play? Mr. Mauricio? Quiero ver la lista que les envié. Mr. Mauricio, I cannot hear you. Played. Yes, very good. Miss Sandra, what is the simple pass for drink? Drink. I'm sorry? Drink. Drank, yes, Drank. Drank. yes, very good. Miss Esmeralda, hello. What is the simple pass for eat? Eight. Yes, very good. <laughs> Let's see, next one. Miss Michelle, what is the simple pass for B? For? B, 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 el verbo to be. Oh, eh, when, when, no, where. Aha, uh -huh. where and? Was. Was, amazing, thank was. you. Okay, before we continue, antes de continuar, I'm gonna pass attendance, please say presente. Abigail Mejia. Present. Thank you. Andrea Amalia. Present teacher. Thank you. Dania Lisbeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Dice Yamilet. Esmeralda del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto. Oh. Hey, yes, thank you, mister. I know, I know you are presente, but still. Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Ezequiel. Here, teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose. Present teacher. <laughs> no, thank you, Mr. Kenya. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. 
Thank you. Mirna Elizabeth. Rebeca Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Sandra Abigail. Present. Thank you. Sandra Patricia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Michelle. Present, Mitch. Thank you. Okay. Very, very good. Okay, so as I told you before, you have to be prepared because I'm going to be asking you some verbs throughout all the class. Tienen que estar pendientes por ahí porque le puede estar preguntando a través, bueno, durante, a través, bueno, es lo mismo. Eh, durante toda la clase, es algunos verbos de la lista que les envié, si ¿Sí pudieron descargar la aplicación, excelente, porque obviamente era un poco... Ok, no problem, Miss Dania. Le voy a poner oyente, ok, porque si no se me, chis se me olvida, se me chispotea, iba a decir. Uh, oyente, ok. So, Miss Esmeralda, what about you? Eh, Miss Sandra, what about you? Are you oyente or no? No, teacher. Ok, ok, great. No, Let tampoco, me... teacher. Ok, ok, so just checking, porque después hay veces que le estoy llamando y no me contesta. No me dejen visto, por favor. Ok, so let's continue, and as I told you before, we are going to continue. Yes, because I want you to practice. Yo quiero que, me, me interesa mucho que practiquen, ok? So that's why I put you to practice always, always, ok? So, give me one second, because I'm looking for the, for the page in the manual. And I don't know where it's the page. So we can start the class. So, okay, here I have it, okay. So give me one second so I can share with you. Okay, so this is the manual and let's start with the class, okay. So, uy, oh my goodness, what happened? So it says here, brainstorm about the instruction that most of the time you give, okay. So sometimes when we are in like, in our work, okay, we give some mixed instructions. Like for example, for me, I tell you to write, okay? That's one instruction. Uh, sometimes I say, listen, can you remember me other instructions that you give in your job, please? Can you tell me some ideas? Mm -hmm. Instructions mm. like you give, text. like I'm sorry, check text, text like this, miss check. Ah, check amazing. Anything else? Read the manual. Ah, read the manual. Very good. Any other instruction that you give in your jobs? Finish on time. Ah, okay, finish. But you, you say finish on time? Usted da esa, esa, esa dirección, esa instrucción en su trabajo, Miss? Porque recuerden que son, quiero que me digan las instrucciones que digan en su trabajo. Like, what do you Call. say? I'm sorry? Call. Call, very good. Checking the, plan, the production plan. Ah, check the production plan. Thank you. Anything else? Are there any other ideas? Mm -hmm. What about the other ones? I know everybody here has different types of job. Yo sé que todos acá tienen... Todos tienen creo que un trabajo diferente, so you give different types of instructions, so todos dan un, un tipo de instrucción diferente. Increase efficiency. Increase life essence, efficiency. Efficiency. Ok, efficiency. S. Efficiency, like this, Mr. Be efficient. Efficient yeah. sería. Efficient. Yeah, ser eficiente, right? That's something that everybody must do, right? Very good. Coordinate. I'm sorry? Coordinate. Ah, coordinate, yes. Very good. Okay, so now, I, I'm sorry, Miss, Miss Esmeralda? 
check the report. Ah, check the report. Very good, right? Yes. Excellent. That's necessary in all of the jobs, right? Now here we have a question. Do you ever forget about one of them? When you give these instructions, cuando ustedes dan estas instrucciones, ¿se olvidan de alguna instru instrucción cuando ya la han dado? Porque, por ejemplo, a veces a mí se me olvida. <laughs> for you, for you, do you forget about them or no? You, do you always remember these instructions that you give? Do you I write. Ah, oh, perfect. Very good, me. It's like me, me too, pero I always forgot. <laughs> Anyways, anything else? What about the other ones? Mm -hmm. Do you always for, uh, re remember them? Always forget instruction and and always uh, huh? write in, in a paper para no olvidarlos. Oh, very good. That's something very good. Um, eso sí es muy importante. Eh, I, like, I think everybody must do that. Creo que todos deberíamos de hacer eso, ¿verdad? For, for us not to forget, para que no se nos olvide, ¿verdad? Escribirlos. But sometimes, pero a veces hasta escrito. I don't know if you have seen a meme that it says, yo lo escribí, pero ya no me acuerdo. That's for me. That's memes for me because sometimes I forget what I write or what I tell you to do. So it's very important so we can write, right? So we can remember the things that we have wrote in the past. And now for that, okay, we can use the um, the past in negative, okay? That's why up here is this, okay? Because we are going to learn how to use the simple past in negative. And here, to start, we have a little bit of a practice. And I want, please help me, Mr. Mr. Uh, it would be one boy, Mr. Jorge. And then also Miss Sandra. Mr. Jorge, you're going to start, you're going to be Luz, and Miss Sandra is going to be Eva, okay? So can you start, please? My goodness, Miss, where are you? Yes, okay. yes, Mr. Can you tell me more about your experience? Your experience? It was not so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what about. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actuality, I see he didn't <laughs> say his name. He was, he was not keen. Kind? Kind. My apologize for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? <clears throat> yes, I could. I was not so easy, mm -hmm. but I called call another? another another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Excellent, thank you. Okay, so here, right again, um, to remember something. Well, maybe. Uh, you can write it sometimes, right? And it says here, didn't, as you can see, they are using didn't to uh, remember some things, okay, about the past, right? Or maybe they didn't remember something. And that's what we are going to use for the past wasn't in negative, right? And didn't. Here uh, we have, it says, a practice, pair work, read the conversation again and write activities that happen and the ones that didn't happen, okay? What activities did happen according to the conversation? What things happened in the past? Mm -hmm. Can you 
tell me what things happen in positive. Uh -huh. ¿Qué oraciones están en positivo que sí sucedieron? They called another agent again. Exactly. They called another agent, uh, agent again. It says here, I call another agent again. Eso es una, ¿verdad? What, uh, what else? He explaining everything. Exactly, he explained everything. He explained everything. What else? He was so considerate. Exactly, he was so considerate. His name was Romeo. Uh -huh. Was, right? It's in past, so definitely. His name was Romeo. Mm -hmm. And also, look over here. I bought. He bought, bought. something. Yeah, so it's in mm -hmm. pass. Now, what didn't happen? ¿Qué es lo que no sucedió? Can you tell me about that? It wasn't so nice. Exactly. It wasn't so nice. What else? The agent didn't give a confirmation number. Definitely. Very good. Thank you. Anything else? He didn't even send a receipt mm -hmm. a for receipt. what about mm -hmm. receipt. Exactly, a receipt. Excellent. Anything else? He didn't say his name. Exactly. He didn't say his name. And something? He wasn't kind. He wasn't kind, exactly, right? That didn't happen, very good. It wasn't so easy. Exactly, it wasn't so easy, amazing. So those are things that didn't happen and the other ones in black did happen, right? Now, we are going to learn, as you could notice, right? Right now, we are going to learn the simple past in negative. Just give me one second so I can present to you. How do we create this type of sentences? Okay, ahora pues les voy a explicar un poco de cómo vamos a empezar a crear este tipo de eh, oraciones. So in simple past, in the negative form, what happens is that we, well, first of all, we are going to start with the verb V, ok. Hay dos tipos de nega negaciones en pasado, ok. Eh, vamos a empezar con el verb to be in past. En in, in present, I mean, I mean, sorry, sorry, sorry. In the, in the negative, I mean, in the affirmative, what was the verb to be in past? Can you remember to me, please? Was, were. Ajá, uh -huh, was and where. Thank you. So now, if we know that this is in present, right? I mean, in past, but in affirmative, como sabemos, estas son las um, afirmativas en pasado del verbo to be. Pero ahora en negativo, what happens? What happens is that we have uh, the not, right? Like, here we have the not, okay? And we can use it in two ways. Y lo podemos utilizar en dos maneras, okay? So it can be for was, it can be was not, yes. uh -huh, was not, or in, con ah, exactly, wasn't. Or el where, puede ser were yeah, not, uh, or in, ne in contracted where. form, where. weren't, weren't, exactly. Okay, it can be both way. Remember that when we are writing, we can have the complete form, and when we are speaking, we are going to use the contracted form, okay? And so here we have some examples in the present and in the past. Aquí tenemos algunos ejemplos en el presente. ¿verdad? Dice que en el presente pues le agregamos el not igual, vea, en el pasado. Aquí tenemos una oración en present. Can you help me to read, please? Mr. Juan José. In present. 
please? We are not at home now. Exactly. In the past tense, it would be? We were not at home now. Now or yesterday? Oh, yesterday. <laughs> okay, thank <Sorry>. you. <coughs> That's okay. Okay, so remember that the time expressions are always, always important, right? In last class, remember that I was giving you some time expressions in past. Which ones were the time expressions? Can you remember to me yesterday? What else? Last night, uh -huh. last week, last, last year. Month. Uh -huh. Last month. Uh -huh. The day. Uh -huh. Before. Mm. Um, before. Sí. Yesterday. Uh -huh. Be before yesterday. Yeah, it's like that. El, eh, un día, sería un día antes de ayer. No sería. Anteayer decimos nosotros los, a los salvadores. Antier. Antier decimos acá. Antier decimos eso es the day before yesterday. En In inglés así sería antier. Ajá. O el día antes de ayer. Sería literalmente. Eh, it could be last year, right? Porque estamos hablando del pasado. Complementamos la oración así, ¿verdad? Ahora bien, remember verb to be. When do we use it? Verb to be, remember that is to say age. Name, location, uh -huh. occupation, location, thank you, Miss. What else? Nationality. We... Uh -huh. Nationalities, excellent. And what else? Mm. Feelings, okay. How do you feel in the past, obviously, right? Because Existencia. Ex... Mm. Okay, could be. Como there are, there is. Mm, yeah, it could be. Uh, so existing, something existing, right? Or, yeah. So, yes. Okay, so for that, we are going to use it. Please keep in mind this. Por favor, tengamos en este esto. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizarlo? Edad, nombre, ocupación, locación, nacionalidades, sentimientos y algo que existe, como acabo de decir la mí, ¿verdad? Siempre hay que tener en cuenta eso cuando estamos utilizando el verbo to be, ya sea en presente o en pasado. So now, wait a second. Question so far? Oh my goodness. Question so far? Okay. So wait a second because I want to go to the whiteboard. Quiero ir a nuestra pizarra so we can, uh, I can create some sentences, okay? So basically what happens in these type of sentences is that we have a subject, like for example, I wasn't, okay? And then you complete with something, right? Completamos con algo. Like, for example, I wasn't happy last night, okay? So there you have it. As you can see, we have the subject, okay? Then we have wasn't. Yeah, and then here, as you can yeah. see, I have a feeling, right? Aquí estoy expresando un sentimiento, vea a feeling, and then I complete with the time expression. Yo para darle un poco vea más de completé con una expresión de tiempo para que fuera más en pasado, right? So uh, yes, something very very important to to say is that as you can see, we don't use any other verb. Como pueden notar, pues no utilizo otro verbos más que el wasn't. Okay. Right now, it's just about the was and or wearing. Now, they, what do we use? Was and or wearing, everybody? Where? Where? Exactly. So, sería wearing, right? Yeah. They wearing uh, Americans. Okay. Look, I am expressing um, a, no, a nationality, right? So, look, first we have the subject, then I have the Verb to be in past, in negative form, and then I have here a nationality. Aquí tengo una nacionalidad, ¿verdad? Then also we can say, I, I know I already have a he. Well, maybe I can use a name. Maybe I can say Jose. Jose, what would be? Wasn't or wasn't? Wasn't or wearing, sorry. Wasn't. Exactly. Wasn't. Exactly. Jose wasn't. What can we say about Jose? Here. Mm -hmm. Jose wasn't here last week. Okay. And then, as you can see, 
First, we have the subject, then we have the verb to be in pass, and then I complete with something. Y después complemento con algo. Do we have any questions so far until here? Tenemos alguna duda uh, o preguntas del momento? Any questions? Eh, teacher. Yeah. When you were and was mm -hmm. the verb mm -hmm. use in this. Eh, El verbo que se utiliza no tiene modificación. Which verb, mister? ¿Pero quién es el verbo was? Eh? No, cuando usamos el, el, el pasado de was, where, uh -huh. el eh. verbo que le continúa eh, no, no, hay otro no verbo. tiene modificación. No, eso es lo que estaba explicándoles, mister, que con el was y con el where no vamos a utilizar otro verbo, más solo el was o el where. Oh, ok. No se utiliza okay. otro verbo, ok. Ok. Thank you. Nada, nada, sino que utilizamos. ¿Qué eran las, las cositas que íbamos a describir con el was y con el wearing? ¿Qué es Feeling, lo que se... Feeling. Location, nacionales. Lo... Nombres, nacionalidades, ocupaciones. Eso es lo que estamos expresando con yeah. ese tipo de oraciones. Entonces, por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, we. What is the negative form for? Verb to be para we, please. Which one? Wearing. Ajá, wearing. Ah, entonces después yo quiero expresar, por ejemplo, una ocupación. We weren't. ¿Qué ocupación? Doctors. Ah, very good. We weren't doctors. Ah, last month. Ok, y ahora tal vez ya son doctors, ¿verdad? Ok, mm -hmm. so. Porque es en pasado. Entonces, miren, primero tengo mi sujeto, después tengo el verbo tu bien pasado y negativo, y después tengo aquí una ocupación. Ok. okay. No okay. tengo verbo. Ok. Ok. Any other That's... questions? No problem, mister. No problem. Uh -huh. Ok, now, this is one, ok. Esta es una forma de las negaciones en pasado, ok. Now, in the... Now, with the other verbs. Ahora con los otros verbos. No sé si tengo más explanation. Give me one second. I think I have more. Yeah, I do have. So, negative. I, ok, here I have some sentences. Can you help me to read, please, Miss Lady, the first ones, the first three? <coughs> I was not quiescent. Mm -hmm. You were not quiescent. Mm -hmm. he, he was not quiescent. Exactly. Thank you. Jose Ezequiel, next ones, please. Okay. Which one? Uh, she was? Mm -hmm. or... Yes, she was. And... Okay. Or she was not. Mm -hmm. She was not, mm -hmm. wasn't. Mm -hmm. It was not, wasn't. And the last ones, help me please. Um, wait, I need a girl. Miss Rebecca, the last ones here. We were not weren't. You were not weren't. They were not weren't. Exactly. Very good. Okay. So <coughs> uh, this will be the contracted and completing form. Como pueden ver, estas son las formas contractadas y completas. Vea. Eh, a mí me gusta siempre recalcar que cuando tenemos forma completa, básicamente se utiliza casi siempre para escribirlo, porque es una forma más formal y para hablar, forma contractada, ¿ok? Y obviamente es un poco más informal, ¿ok? Pero ahí, pues si ustedes quieren utilizar la forma completa también para hablar, excelente, ¿verdad? Porque pues más, más like, grammatically, it's perfect, ¿ok? So if you want to do it like that. Oh, okay. Now, that was only for the verb to be. Recuerden que esto era con el verbo to be, en negación. Y lo único que hacemos con todos estos sujetos, como pueden ver ahorita en, su pre en la presentación, 
pues solo les agregamos ya sea la ocupación, la edad, nombre, eh, eh, nacionalidad y mucho más. Ahora, con los otros verbos, como el ministro me estaba preguntando, vamos, we are going to use this. We are going to use did, ¿ok? Did. And what happened? We add did not, did not or didn't, ¿ok? ¿Qué es lo que se hace? Es que se le agrega el did not o se le agrega en, en contractado, sería didn't. Ok, and uh, as you can see here, after did not or didn't, we use a verb. Después del did not o el didn't, se utiliza un verbo. Ok, aquí se va otro verbo. Ok, can you help me to read these two sentences, please, Miss Esmeralda? We didn't not didn't place Danny last Sunday. Mm -hmm. She didn't study last Saturday. Amazing, thank you, Miss. Okay, so as you can see, we use some more verbs. Ya utilizamos los otros verbos, okay? And the, um, like, for example, here we have this sentence. En afirmativo sería, uh, she wrote a book. So in negative would be, she didn't write a book. Okay, Por, eh, si se dan cuenta por acá, tenemos el mismo sujeto pero ahora en negativo sería tiren y el verbo queda en presente. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos nuestro ayudante por acá, miren, en, en cómo se llama, eh, este ayudante del pasado, que básicamente nos hace el verbo a pasado sin escribir el verbo en pasado. Entonces, it's like very simple, es muy eh, simple. Ok, let's see. And not, I think I have more examples. I don't remember. Here, yes, we do. So can you help me to read these examples, uh, Mr. Jorge, the first ones, please? The first three. I did not, didn't write. Mm -hmm. You didn't read. Mm -hmm. He didn't study. Yes, thank you. Let's go next ones, Miss Michelle. She didn't run, mm -hmm. it didn't drink. Mm -hmm. Very good. And the last one, please help me, Miss Rebecca. We didn't look, mm -hmm. you didn't understand, they didn't jump. Thank you. So very good. As you can see, uh, we use the subject, then we use didn't or did not, ¿verdad? Cualquiera de los dos y después el verbo normal. Let's go back to the whiteboard. Vamos a regresar a la pizarra por acá. And so, so for example, it would be any verb, right? In this case, doesn't matter. I didn't. Can you give me a verb, please? Vamos a pensar en ayer. Jump. Ah, okay. I didn't jump. And I didn't jump. Okay, we can leave it like that. Okay, so here we have the subject. Aquí tenemos el sujeto, después tenemos el didn't y un verbo normal. Okay, thank you, Miss. Or maybe we can say we did not. Okay, did not. And can you give me one verb, please? One verb. Play. Ah, very good. We did not play last night. Last night. Uh -huh. O last week, o last, last Saturday, ok. Y miren, tenemos nuestro sujeto, después did not or didn't, nuestro verbo normal. Y aquí una expresión de tiempo, vea, porque recuerden que para hacerlo un poco más énfasis, vea que estamos hablando del pasado, ok. Questions? Do we have any questions? Questions, questions? No? No. I think we are, oh. Solo una. Yeah. ¿Existe alguna excepción en la que el verbo cambiaría o siempre que va didn't o did know? Uh -huh. Eh, 
es siempre el verbo no va a modificar. Ya, yeah. no. Eh, no hay ninguna excepción. Ahorita eh, la única que me acabo de, como que no vayamos a cometer el error de uh, utilizar el be, ¿ok? Porque para el be recuerden que es el was, en verdad, porque he eh, visto casos que, por ejemplo, decimos I don't be, ¿ok? I don't be happy, ¿ok? ¿Cómo sería lo correcto? Recuerden que está incorrecto. ¿Qué? ¿Cuál sería lo correcto para decir yo no estoy feliz? I no wasn't feliz. happy. Exactly. I wasn't happy. De ahí, pues, eso básicamente, ¿por qué tendría que ser el wasn't? Porque es el verbo tu bien pasado. No vamos a escribir el don't y de... I mean, didn't era acá. I'm sorry. Didn't be. Porque este, aquí está el verbo to be, no, es, it cannot be like this, no puede ser posible, igual que en el presente, ¿verdad? no puede ser I don't be, es I am not, ok, or maybe you can say they, eso también lo he visto, they didn't, they didn't, B, otra vez, they didn't be eh, watermelons. Malians. Malians. Yes, okay, so it would be the correct form, it would be they. What is the verb be and pass for they? Weren't. Uh -huh. Weren't watermelons. Watermelons. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's basically it. It's like no other one like that. I'm going to write some sentences and you're going to tell me which one is the correct answer, okay? For example, if I say in the next, ah, you're going to tell me the negative form. For example, I, I ate pupusas <laughs> again. <laughs> So can you tell me the negative form for I ate pupusas, please? I didn't. Mm -hmm. okay. it, it, it pupusas. It pupusas. Pupusa. Exactly, because remember that the verb will be normal, right? Porque recordemos que el verbo pues ya sería normal. If I say, uh, I am, no, I was happy, it would be? Negative? I wasn't. Uh -huh, I wasn't happy. Okay. Very good. What about if I say, wait, let me do another one. She, she became famous. Negative? She didn't she become famous. Exactly. She didn't become, become famous. famous. Exactly. Porque pues el verbo ya se queda en presente. Más no cambia. Okay. Questions. Do we have any questions right now? Exceptions? No, ¿verdad? Solo recuerden, no vamos a utilizar don't be. Ni didn't be. Okay. No questions? No. Okay, so I think we're clear. Great. So here we have a little bit of practice. It says write the verbs in brackets using the past negative form, okay? Vamos a utilizar la forma negativa de los que aparecen en paréntesis. So for this, I'm gonna give you three, five minutes, five minutes. So you can write them in your notebook. Van a escribirlas en su cuaderno, okay? Y después vamos a a practicarlas acá, ok? So, let's go.
Let me know when you're ready. Right. Okay, great. Miss Abigail, can you write number one, please? We were at the school this morning. Can you write it down? Puedes intentar si puedes escribirla. Are you from a computer, Miss, or are you from uh, a <laughs> Oh, that's why it's kind of hard for you. I'm sorry, Miss. <laughs> yes, very good, Miss Abigail. Thank you. <laughs> that's perfect. Thank you. Thank you for trying me. Okay, let's go. Next one. Next volunteer. ¿Quién, ¿Quién terminó? Who finished? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Miss. Ah, oh, Miss Rebecca, vi, Miss Abigail. Mejía, Miss Abigail, usted no está oyente, Miss. Ah, ya no, perdón. Ay, ya Miss. Sí, okay. Sorry. Yo dije, no, Miss Abigail no está. Para, si, para preguntarle, Miss, pues si va a practicar. Mm. Okay, Miss, no, can, you, can you do number two? Y Miss Rebecca, can you do number three, please? Okay. She Thank didn't you. listen to the rod. Okay, so lo voy a escribir, Miss, no se preocupe. She... Thank you. Miss Rebecca, can you, Miss Rebecca, usted puede intentar hacer la número three, please. Very good, Miss. Oh, very good, Miss. Thank you. Number four, another volunteer that has finished. Me, teacher. Okay, Miss Michelle, number four, please. Miss Mitchell, can you write that? Oh, there. Thank you, Miss. They don't want less. Very good. Next one. Uh, next volunteer. One boy. Where are the boys? They haven't participated. Where are you? Help me. They didn't swim yesterday. Okay, thank you, Mr. Mauricio. I'm going to write it for you. Don't worry. They didn't swim. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. So, do you have them like that? Así las tienen? Yeah. Okay, check, check, check. Yeah. yeah, so we are good. Amazing. Okay, let's go and continue. Give me one second because I want to check on my presentation, okay? Mm -hmm. mm -mm 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 -mm. Ah, okay, I have another practice, okay? Tengo otra práctica 
but I want the ones that haven't participated to help me, okay? Ahora los que no han participado me van a ayudar, okay? Help me, Miss Sandra Patricia, number one. What is the negative form for Susan went to the park yesterday? What will be the negative form? Sería Susan. Uh -huh. Dire. Uh -huh. Wait. Wait a second. Susan. Wait. Susan. Didn't went. Like this? Yes. What we? Are you sure, Miss? Didn't go. Why didn't go and not went? Because you use. Because we are out. using did. Exactly. Exactly. So it will be didn't go porque vamos a, como ya tenemos nuestro ayudante vea del pasado que es el didn't no necesitamos cambiar el verbo. Very good try, Miss I mean, Miss Sandra. Sorry. Thank you. Let's see the next one. It would be Miss Lady number two. We didn't study English last night. Yes, it's true. <laughs> English last night. Thank you. Let's go now, Miss. Okay, Mr. Jorge, number three. You weren't my friend. Exactly. Thank you. Very good. Next one, Mr. Jose Ezequiel, number four. Okay, they didn't broken the window. Yes, I'm sorry, didn't? Break. Broken? Break, oh, okay. Break. Break. Mm -hmm. break. Broke? No, porque ya teníamos nuestro ayudante, ¿verdad? So it didn't break the window. Thank you, mister. Let's see now. Miss Kenya. Yo vi a Miss Kenia por acá, pero no la veo. Se salió. Ay, no está Miss Kenia. Ay, no, no puede hablar. Se acaba de ingresar otra vez. Miss Dilcia. Jamilet. Hello. Hello, Miss. What is the answer for that one? I. I, uh -huh. I didn't. Uh -huh. My homework. Okay. ¿Cuál es el pasado de did, Miss? Mm. El presente, quiero decir, de did. Mm. Exactly, it do. Ya le voy a explicar algo acerca de esa oración. I didn't do my homework. Thank you. Let's see next one. It would be Mr. Mauricio, the last yeah. one. He wasn't uh -huh. tired yesterday. He wasn't, wasn't tired, tired yesterday. yesterday. Yes, very good. Okay, so now, with this one, con la del DIR, como pueden ver, muy bien a todos. Thank you for your practice. Con el DIR, <coughs> el presente de DIR, ¿cuál es? Do. Exactly, es do, ¿verdad? Entonces, siempre, aunque veamos el DIR ahí, quiere decir que vamos a utilizar nuestro ayudante. En este caso sería... Y después el verbo principal que sería nuestro do. Por ejemplo, si yo les digo, I did the chores. Entonces, ¿y negativo sería? I didn't do the chores. Exactly. I didn't do the chores. 
What the meaning of chores? Chores, tareas de la casa, Miss. Ah. O sea, hay que hacer el... No, no, no. Well, another one is chores, Miss. Um, I'm sorry? No, I, I know. When you auxiliary, uh -huh. you the vapor, for example, vive the vapor. When you say that the verb in present, se podría entender más. Porque si ocupamos, eh, en vez de hay, ocupamos he, en presente, el do es da. Esa tercera persona. La infinite, el infinity verb, then. I'm going to say infinity verb, then. Voy a decir el, el verbo en infinitivo, entonces, o la base forma del verbo, ¿ok? El verbo normal. Ok, I'm not going to say present, then. Okay, so in this one, if I say, for example, he he did uh, he did the the task. Okay, it would be in negative. Negative. He didn't do the task. Uh, the task exactly. Okay, so for this one, right? Just an example, solo un poquito más de ejemplos, ¿verdad? Con el do, o porque eh, sí puede haber un, una pequeña confusión y se lo van a utilizar el didn't, pero no, tenemos que utilizar otro verbo con el didn't, recordemos. Okay. Any other questions? ¿Alguna otra duda al momento, you guys? Questions, questions? Okay, if we don't have any more questions, let's go back to the manual. Okay, in the manual, we have some sentences, okay? Okay, here. Here we have some more examples about the past in, <coughs> in negative form with the verb to be. Tell me, please, to read Miss Esmeralda. Ask of B. I wasn't interested. In Casi no la escuchamos, Miss. Yo no la I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Pass of B. I wasn't interested. You interested? were interested. Uh -huh. You weren't cold. Uh -huh. He wasn't kind. Uh -huh. The people weren't helpful. Uh -huh. They weren't online. Uh, online. Very good. Thank okay. you. Let's see. Next one. Help me, please, Mr. Juan Jose. I didn't receive any number. Mm -hmm. You didn't send a contract. Mm -hmm. He didn't say his name. Mm -hmm. She didn't call again. We didn't buy a product. Amazing, thank you. Thank you for reading. So again, it was just as a reminder, right? Esto es solo un, po un poquito de recordatorio, right? Uh, and then here, remember for the pass of V, it just have a, set, a subject. Then we have wasn't or wearing, and then we have something like a feeling, a nationality, a occupation, a name, an age, ¿ok? Como pueden, bueno, acá si se fijan, solo estaba utilizando este, casi siempre cómo se sienten. Eh, y en cambio con el otro tipo de negativa, que es el dire, necesitamos otro verbo. Y con el WhatsApp no, ¿verdad? Ok, here we have again... Another uh, practice for the simple past. So we have the, well, simple present sentence. Aquí, pues sí, tenemos oraciones en el presente y las debemos de pasar a negativas, in negative sentences to the past. Okay, so I'm going to give you for this another five minutes so we can practice a little bit more. But these sentences, I want you to send them to me on WhatsApp. Please, please. 
And besides that, I think I have some more practice. Wait a second. Wait a second. Give me one second. Yeah. And then also please try to write beside those sentences. Aparte de esas, de esas oraciones, quiero que escriban cuatro. Cuatro oraciones acerca de ustedes in negative form, okay? Wait a second. Four okay. negatives, four sentence about you. Okay, four sentences about you in negative, okay? So let's try to do it, please. And if you have any questions, let me know. For all of the sentences, it will be 10, okay? Because you have to write those and yours, okay? Please try to do that. Okay. And when you finish, send them in WhatsApp, please. Okay. Yes? Es que casi no se escucha. I'm sorry, que está lloviendo fuerte acá. Sorry? I know, because a part of those six sentences, do we have to write four sentences more? Yes, about you. Okay, about, okay. about you in the, in the like negative. Yes. Okay. Please, thank you.
Kuska. Yes. And how do you say ranchera? Lunchbox. Here, I'm going to write it. Lunchbox. Thank you, Mr. Juan Jose. Thank you, Miss Lady. Very good, Miss Kenya. Thank you. But in negative, Miss, I wasn't satisfied with my mother. We weren't. Weren't, wasn't. Miss <coughs> <coughs> Kenya, there it would be negative, but the, the sentence is very good, right? But just remember. Let's see. Ah, oh, me have you Very good, Miss Kenya. Thank you for correcting. Very good, very good. ¿Y por qué la borró, Miss? Very good, Miss Abigail Mejia. Thank you. Miss Esmeralda. Okay. Las de arriba. I wasn't satisfied. We weren't so happy. The program wasn't too slow. Can you correct those, please? Miss Abigail Mejia, thank you very much. I didn't satisfy. No, it's I wasn't. Vamos a corregir eso.
Thank you. Thank you, Miss Rebecca. Very good, Miss Kenya. Very good, Mr. Jorge. Miss Abigail. Very good, Miss Sandra. I can see that some of you were doing the other sentences, but the other ones, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you. Y no sé quién es. Sí, Mr. Jose, I think. Uy, yo. Acá en la primera que está por acá, vamos a empezar acá en like in the practice in the manual, okay? So as you can see here, we have I am satisfied with my laptop, right? So for this, ¿cuál es el verbo acá en esta oración? Es en presente, ¿verdad? Esta oración, ¿verdad? So entonces, it would be I. No, but the verb, what is the verb? Aquí en esta oración. Um, um okay. Tenemos el verbo, vea, entonces, um, ah, el verbo to be, so it would be, I wasn't satisfied with my laptop, right? Number two, uh, what's the verb? ¿Cuál es la, el verbo en esta oración, en la number two? Right. Ah, uh, right. Entonces, Oh, since it's, it's a verb, right? Tenemos otro tipo de verbo, sería right. Okay, so sería Marta. Did it? Uh huh. Right. Alert. Uh -huh. To her boss. Exactly, thank you. Number three. What's the verb? What's the verb? Number three. R. Are very good. So, in the negative form, it will be were exactly we we weren't uh -huh. so happy with the full service. <clears throat> with the full service, very good. Number four. What's the verb first? Dry. Uh -huh, dry. So the sentence will be. Pedro and me. Uh -huh, Pedro and me. Didn't. Didn't, didn't dry. Uh -huh. To the company. Exactly, to the company. Excellent. Next one, number five. What is the verb in number five? Sam. Exactly, sense. So it would be? Mm, the principal didn't send many emails. Exactly. And, porque tiene otro verbo, vea. Ahora en el último sería verb. What is the verb in the last one? Verb was. Eh, eh, in, in the sentence, the problem is too slow. Mm. Uh -huh, the verb is, right? Then the sentence will be the program. Was. Uh -huh. Too slow. Too slow. Very good. Amazing. So that was the basically the practice. But I don't know what happened to you because you were writing other things. No sé qué sucedió por ahí. No sé si me malinterpretaron qué era lo que iban a hacer o what happened.
Ajá. Porque lo que sucedió, lo que pude notar fue que, pues, algunos no estamos utilizando eso, ¿verdad? So, tell me, tell me. So, I hear you. Uh -huh. Nothing. Porque las que vi por último fue que desde, desde me pensaron que, por ejemplo, en la número uno, satisfy era otro verbo. Entonces me pusieron, I didn't satisfy with my laptop. Pero como, well, in this one is am, ¿verdad? El verbo principal. Entonces, well, it was the, it was right. Wait, give me. Okay, Miss Yamilet. Miss Dilcia, I didn't eat Okay, very good. Any other questions or doubts so far about this? Because I can see that with that, ¿cómo identificar si es un verbo? En este caso era, ¿se acuerdan que esa palabrita la estudiamos hace unos días? Satisfy, que era para decir que si estaban eh, satisfechos con su producto o no, ¿verdad? Era un adjetivo. ¿Por qué? Porque describía un objeto, ¿verdad? So... We cannot use it, right? Or as a verb. No lo podemos utilizar como verbo, sino que es una palabra que describe algo. So, yes. I was going to say, well, we are going to do another practice. Vamos a hacer una última práctica con eso del pasado, okay? So, what are you going to do? I'm going to say um, a sentence in present and you're going to tell me in past, okay? Yo le puedo decir una oración en presente y ustedes me lo van a decir en pasado, ok? To see if you are ready, ok? And what happened to the cameras? Ok, let's see. Uh, I'm going to start with Mr. Mauricio. I am. Hi. Ok, ok, Mr. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ok. I am Salvadorian. In negative? I was Salvadorian. In negative? I wasn't Salvadorian. Yes, exactly. I wasn't Salvadorian. Okay, let's see now. Uh, Miss Rebecca. Hmm. Yes. They drive, no, they drove a car. They didn't mm -hmm. drive. Uh -huh. The complement item. <laughs> a car, a car. A car. <laughs> okay, very they good. They didn't drive car. <laughs> exactly, very good, thank you. Let's see, Mr. Jorge. Let's see, she, she read a book. She didn't read a book. Exactly. Mr. Jose Ezequiel. We, yes. we drank water. We, drunk. we didn't drink water. Exactly. Miss Lady. It slept on the floor. It slept on the floor. Didn't <coughs> sleep on the floor. Very good, thank you. Abigail Bonilla. Mm. They watched TV. <coughs> they watched TV. They didn't watch TV. Yes, very good. Miss Michelle. I took a pill. I do. I took a pill. 
Me siento como la canción. Yeah. There's a song that that has that says that. <laughs> I took a pill. Okay. I didn't took a pill. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes, it's true. Listen to the sentence. I took a pill in negative. I didn't took a pill. Uh, uh, take. Es que el verbo, recuerda que no va a cambiar, sería en presente. Ah, I'm sorry. In infinitive, I, sorry. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't take a pill. Exactly, very good. Let's see next one. Miss Kenya. I wrote a poem. Can you repeat? I wrote a poem. I wrote a poem. I didn't write a poem. A poem. Yes, thank you. Okay, now let's go with the next practice. Okay, and for the next practice, what are you going to do? As you can see here, it says your turn. You are a company's agent and are calling all customers to check that everything was explained and provided to them. And then the other one, it's going to be a customer. So you tell the agent how you feel of satisfaction is and everything they didn't do. So you're going to do a conversation, something similar to this. Van a hacer una conversación similar a esta que says, Good morning. I am I am Rosemary from uh, from Movistar Company. Am I speaking? Vamos a ver. Voy a hacer la práctica con mi Rebecca. Good morning. I am Rosemary from Movistar Company. Am I am I speaking to Rebecca? Ah, uh, do you know who I can say? This one. Letter B means. Good morning. Yes, she's speaking. The reason of this goal is to know the level of satisfaction that you had with the last product you bought with us. Okay, the product is fine, but sometimes mm -hmm. have the problem it with the I didn't. Yeah, I didn't work the volume, something, okay? It didn't. Uh -huh, yes. The uh -huh. volume, something uh -huh. didn't the, um, turn on. Turn on. Okay, it didn't. Uh, uh, it wasn't. It wasn't good. Maybe you can say it wasn't good product. Okay, or plastic. Okay, so in this case, when you are explaining the product. You have to describe it using negative sentences, okay? Okay. Aha, uh -huh. that would be, but thank you, Miss. Very good ideas, <laughs> though. Thank you, thank you. Do you understand what you're going to do? Yes, no? Or is everything clear as water? Urchata. <laughs> as a urchata. What? <laughs> Or you want to shut up? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so <laughs> right now we are going to practice, okay? We're going to practice uh, in groups of two and some of them are going to be in groups of three. Pero quiero ver que los oyentes me han quedado en groups of three. Give me one sec. Uy, what did I do? Wait a second, please. Okay, so yes, everybody's, oh no, I have somebody here. Okay, so questions so far? You will have five minutes exactly to, oh, four minutes right now to work on this, okay? And remember, you're going to give ideas and then you switch. Y después van a cambiar de roles y uno va a ser el que está llamando y el otro va a ser el client, okay? So I'm going to give you four minutes to work on this. Here we go.
Ok. ¿Qué producto? In this case, one it's going to be first. Digamos que primero mi Sandra con mi Rebeca y después no sé cuál de las dos se va a volunteer que trabaje con mis mejillas, ok. Para que okay. hagan una sola, una con ustedes dos y después otra con mis mejillas. Ok, thank you. Ok. Okay. The reason of this call is to know the level of satisfaction that you have with the last product you bought with us. Okay. Okay. The product, mm -hmm. the product is fine, but I didn't to. No, I didn't el verbo. Sí, hay que ver el verbo. I didn't, I didn't, quiero ver. I didn't make a, a song. ¿Hm? ¿Qué es eh, Que hace ruidos. No sé. Make um, a but... Mm, ruido es como no es de nuevo no es ruido pero no sé sí no es ese ruido pero maybe you can say it wasn't good no estaba tan bien because it did a noise okay. Ajá, it wasn't good because it did a noise and that it would be better porque si dice, y didn't make a noise, no hacía un ruido, pero como nos vamos a quejar, ¿verdad? So sería, sí. it, it, it was good. No, it wasn't good. It wasn't good because it did a noise, porque hacía un ruido, porque tenía un ruido. It, wasn't, no, it did. 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 It did a noise. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ahorita me van a send in the chat. Ok, so you can have it did. Noise. Continue working. Ok, y en sometimes wasn't. ¿El qué dice? Dice. No, a mis perritos les decía que estaba agarrando una fruta. Ok. Vaya, de ahí. Este, tú respondes. Oh. Ah, no, hombre, ya vio. Uh -huh. uh, hola, teacher. Este, le, le contaba a Jorge de que yo no, ahorita no tengo la más, bueno, no se ve la cámara, ¿verdad? Porque voy manejando. Así que ya, ya voy a retornar para que poder conectar. Pero ya ahí él, él leyó la. So, uh, so you already made the conversation? It's just yeah. a practice. Es solo era para práctica. So don't worry, mister. Okay, mister. Okay. 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 Okay, no problem then. But you already practice, Mr. Jorge? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's good. Okay. So just give me one minute so the other ones can finish, okay? Okay. Don't worry. Okay, okay, thank you. What? Another level. That's another level. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> okay, thank you. Just wait a second. Thank you. Okay. Ok. Contéstame. Yes. ¿Cómo, perdón, en el B? Eh, va, ya hicimos la, la primera letra. Ah, va, que, que entra y saluda. Va. Con esmeralda, ¿verdad? Yes. 
that you have that you have with the seeds with the last let's prove que podemos poner and what in and the second letter b good morning yes this speaking by Entonces sería The product is good. It was very slow and the application did not. Así, Rebeca. No la entendí la última parte. The application did not load as fast as I need it. Ah, yes. Uh -huh. Así sería. Sí. Sí. Teachers. Yes, it's correct. No, 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 no. Cargó, vea. Quieren decir que cargó. cargó Las aplicaciones. Cargó. No cargaba bien. Ajá, que Ajá. no cargaban rápido como yo lo necesitaba. Ajá, pues loro. 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 Ajá, it's correct. Ok. Okay, we're back. Just wait, wait a few seconds for the other ones. We are going to we're going to do a tenant section right now because it's time. Okay, so right now I'm going to do a tenant sec section, okay? Voy a hacer la sesión, sección de asistencia, por favor, diga presente. Um, Abigail Mejía. Present. Thank you. Andrea Amalia. Daniel Lisbeth. Dilce Present Yamilet. Teacher. Thank you. Dilce Yamilet. Miss Dilcia, yo la acabo de ver. Look what happened. Creo que estaba trabajando con alguien. Conmigo. Uh -huh. Pero luego ya no estaba. That's strange. Okay. Uh, then we have Esmeralda. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco Ernesto. Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jose Ezequiel. Yes, teacher, here. Thank you. Juan Jose. Present, teacher. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Thank you. Lady Xiomara. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mirna Elizabeth. Rebeca Guadalupe. Present. Thank you, Sandra Vigail. Present. Sandra Patricia. Present teacher. Stephanie Michel. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, very, very good. And thank you for doing the antenna section with me. Do we finish with the conversations that I put you to practice? Or not yet? <laughs> not yet. 
I heard some of you finish and some of you were like, mm, like doing the sentences. And then you were having a little bit of trouble with the sentences. Estaban teniendo un poquito de problemas con las oraciones porque querían expresar algo negativo, pero con significado, significado positivo. How will be? ¿Cómo les explico esto? Ok. So in English, ok. Porque algunos yo escuché, hay uno y yo dije, mm, eso sí no se los dije. Y es algo que les va a suceder al momento de traducir o al momento, porque yo sé que ahorita todas las palabritas ustedes las quieren traducir. Yo, I feel you, a mí me pasaba, a mí me sucedía. Yeah, I, I, I understand you, okay? Why? Um, because we are not native, right? Porque no somos nativos, pero obviamente que todo nuestro, nuestra mente quiere traducir todo. Entonces, hay ciertas oraciones, chicos, que van a ser positivas, pero con significado negativo. Porque, por ejemplo, yo escuché que decía, ah, es que hacía un ruido. Voy a, decir, voy a poner de ejemplo la de Miss Michelle, ¿verdad? porque ella me dice, hacía un ruido. Entonces, y me dice, ah, it wasn't, it wasn't a noise. Pero si usted dice, it wasn't noise, eh, noisy, ¿verdad? Era para eso. It was the sentence, ok. So it will be, give me one second. Okay, so as you can see here, it wasn't noisy, quiere decir no era ruidoso, pero ella quiere decir que era ruidoso, entonces sería, it was noisy, okay? Ajá, it was noisy. Ok, ok, ella quería decir que sí hacía un ruido, o sea, que estaba molesto, ¿verdad? Entonces, en este caso, esta oración sí es, es positiva, pero obviamente que el significado es negativo. O sea, al momento de traducirlo es negativo. Dice, ay, así un ruido. Oh, my God, it was noisy. Ok. En cambio, si ponemos obviamente esto, it wasn't noisy, queremos decir que no, que no era ruidoso. Ok. I don't know if you do understand that section or that part. No sé si me entienden esa sección. Entonces, aquí okay, van, van a haber oraciones que... Eh, vamos a escribirlas en positivo, pero que obviamente el significado eh, va a ser negativo. Vaya, por ejemplo, ay, oh my goodness, wait. queremos decir, um, ¿por qué está? Like, for example, hmm, it could be like, uh, uh, um, estaba, es, eh, algo estaba horrible, por ejemplo. Um, it was horrible. Porque más que todo sucede con el verbo to be. Ok, eso de lo significado negativo. It was horrible. Ok, ¿qué quiere decir? Que estaba horrible. Ok, sí, es en negativo, pues, como pueden ver. Pero más negativo. mi verbo acá no está en negativo pero usted en tu ah horrible eso, eso es un adjetivo negativo ¿verdad? entonces eso nos da la pauta que no necesariamente tiene que ir con wasn't ¿verdad? porque si yo lo pongo en el, el opuesto obviamente quiere decir que no estaban no estaba no, es ajá me entienden no sé si, si me doy a entender wasn't horrible oh, entonces ajá estoy diciendo no eso estaba bien no estaba horrible ok That could happen, eso podría suceder. No todo tiene que, nos vamos a guiar por el, el sujeto, podríamos decir, ok. Please have in mind that, ten, tengamos en, en mente esto, lo es los adjectives, mm, ok. Lo de horrible, noisy, disgusting, and todos los adjetivos en negación. Hay palabritas y vamos a ver, me imagino que vamos a ver más palabritas como los que vemos dissatisfied, que son palabritas que expresan cosas negativas, ¿ok? Como horrible, awful, thank you means, disgusting, eh, ugly, but, ¿ok? Esas son palabras que son negativas, ¿ok? Son adjetivos negativos. Y se pueden escribir en oraciones positivas, pero con esa palabrita, obviamente, que van a ser malas esas oraciones. O sea, van a ser como negando, vea algo. ¿okay? Aunque no lleva el not. 
Okay. And so let's see, I want to listen at least to one or two sentences, uh, two conversations. Um, quiero escuchar algo, eh, por lo menos dos conversaciones. Let's start with who finished? Porque yo sé que algunos no terminaron. Who finished the conversation? Raise your hand. Nobody finished. What? <laughs> Nobody. No, don't tell me that. Okay, Mr. Mauricio, do you finish? Mr. Jose? No, no finish. Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness, don't tell me that. Uh, just maybe a, only like two or three sentences. Mr. Jorge and Mr. Juan Jose, do you finish? No, teacher, because Juan Jose. Yeah, ah, yes, driving. I remember. I, remember. I was driving. Teacher. Yes, I remember. So sorry. You know, you see, I always forget. <laughs> Lady, eh, ah no, eh, Esmeralda and Jose Ezequiel, you finish? You both, you guys, finish? No, teacher. Oh my goodness. Abigail and Sandra, <laughs> and Miss Rebecca, sorry, and Miss Rebecca and Miss Sandra, it was. Do you finish? Ah. Uh... Nos quejamos, nos quejamos. <laughs> okay, let's try it, let's try it. Okay, so one, two, three, go. Okay. Good morning. I am Rebecca Aguillon from Claro Company. And I am speaking to Sandra Ramos. Good morning. Yes, she's speaking. The reason for this call is to know the level of the satisfaction that you have with the last product you bought with us. The product is good. <clears throat> it was very slow and the application did not as fast as I needed. I needed. No sé cómo pronunciarlo. As I needed. Need it. As I need it. Finish. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> okay. I'm very sorry to hear that. We will take your comment for future products. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you. You are very good, Miss Rebecca. Miss Rebecca is the future of El Salvador. Very good, Miss. Excellent. Yes, because. They do not say that to us here in El Salvador. <laughs> Miss, you should be working in a call center. <laughs> You're so good, Miss. Thank you. Okay, so one more. <laughs> one more. That was very good, though. Uh, excellent. Excellent, Miss, because the, the idea that you have was very good. Um, nobody else then? Nadie más? Por lo menos una quejita que les dieron por ahí. One, one complaint, only one. Miss Michelle, only one? Yes, only one. Okay, with who do you work? Uh, I don't remember who was your... Eh, Abigail. Ah, Miss Abigail. Ah, yes, Miss Abigail. Ay, pero se fue ya misma Abigail. Yes. Yes, oh my goodness. Yes, Miss Bonilla se fue. Uh, okay, and hello, Miss Ilcia. Hola, teacher. Me, yes. me arrepa ya un ratito, pero ahorita me volví a entrar. Yes, yo me quedé. ¿A dónde está Miss Ilcia? Yes, because when I pass the attendance, Miss. Okay, but don't worry, Miss. You are here. Let's see. What about you, Miss Kenya? ¿Con quién estabas tú, Kenya? Oh, no sé con quién. No, ya te ya se salió. Mr. Mauricio, nothing or at least one complaint. Only one complaint. Eh, eh, uh -huh. Lo voy a intentar con, oh, great. con Lady, Lady Xiomara. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three, okay. go. Good morning. I, Mauricio Velasque from the GLS company and I speaking to Lady Shamara. 
Good morning. Yes, she's speaking. Okay. The reason of the call is to know the level of satisfaction that you labor of in, in satisfaction that you have a big last product you bought with apps. Okay, the product is fine, but nothing works <laughs> and there is no connection is available. Okay, only this. <laughs> no problem, Mr. That's, that's okay. Don't worry, yeah. that was good. It doesn't have a connection, you say. But that was perfect. You could say, like, Mr. Oh, I'm sorry, that's okay. We change it. Le voy a ofrecer un cambio, Mr. Mr. We have to be focused <laughs> in the future, Mr. <laughs> no, but that's perfect, Mr. Thank you for trying and thank you for doing it. Very, very good. At least one complaint, that was good, okay? Now, just to finish, I have this a little bit of practice, okay? And as you can see here, I have some more sentences. And this is the last practice for the negative sentences. You're going to help me to make them in negative, okay? So number one, what is your thing is the negative form for he cried at the cinema? It was he? Didn't. Didn't. Uh -huh. Didn't? Uh-huh. Didn't cry at the cinema. Yes, thank you. Number two, they? Didn't. Didn't? Are you sure? Didn't? Like for class, for the boss, sorry, for the boss. Number three, eat. It wasn't. wasn't. Okay, it wasn't a map. Oh. Well, mouse is. Okay, number four, the children were. 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 Were happy. Thank you. Number wearing. Wearing. Oh, thank you. This one, I wasn't. I was hungry. <laughs> we I are. Was, I wasn't hungry. Hungry. Yes. Now, next one. They wearing. They. No. Book. They it's didn't. Verbo. El book. Este, este es un verbo también, aparte del libro. Book significa reservar, ¿ok? En español. Uh, ¿Eso sería? Didn't. Uh, didn't. Uh, book. Didn't book That's the ticket. Yes, thank you. He? He didn't miss. He didn't. Ok, didn't miss the classes. The classes. Next one, the house. Was them. Was. Was them. Uh -huh. And you? You didn't play football. Football. Very good. Thank you. Let's click terminado. Let's see. Oh, very good. Oh, we have to incorrect. Okay. So for this one, number uh, two. So in here, late, late es tarde. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que nos faltaba? They? Yes, late. Wasn't. Wasn't late for the, for the bus. Ok, no sé por qué digo class, pero wasn't late for the bus. No era didn't, porque late es eh, un adverbio, sería en este caso, ¿ok? Para indicar Pero no que... no sería where, porque they... Ah, oh, yes, thank you, miss, thank you. They weren't late for the bus, exactly, thank you. No sería el didn't, porque recuerden con el didn't tendríamos que tener otro verbo, y aquí pues no había otro. Y acá a mouse, lo que le decía, bueno, el, ah, me faltó, it wasn't a mouse, ¿ok? And the rest was perfect. Thank you, very good job. Okay, so do we have any questions, doubts, comments? Questions? 
Okay, so we are going to stay here. Nos vamos a quedar por acá. We are going to continue tomorrow, okay? Thank you, everybody, for coming. Gracias a todos por venir. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a good night. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Good night, everybody. Take care. Good night. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night, Miss Sandra. Bye.